Medusa is a secret boss that you can hunt down in Dragon's Dogma 2, and there's also a lot of things tied to the specific quest line and various achievements that you can get as well. And there's a couple different fun ways that you can go about defeating Medusa, and we're going to be covering all of these in this video. There's going to be a secret shield that we can get inside of a vault, as well as some other interesting things. We're going to be able to acquire the Medusa's head, as well as a perfect version of the Medusa's head. We're going to get two different achievements. We're also going to be getting a bow that drastically increases XP when equipped. I'm sure many of you have encountered the Sculptor's Quest in Vernworth, which has you help out a Sculptor in Back Batal, and with the help from Medusa, we can actually get the perfect completion of this quest as well, because there is a bad ending. So doing everything right when it comes to Medusa can net you a ton of amazing rewards. Now before we head to Back Batal, there's a few things we want to make sure we do in Vernworth. If you haven't picked up the Sculptor's Quest yet, you're going to run past this old man. He lives in the Noble's Quarter at Clark's Estate. He's going to ask you to talk to the Sculptor in Back Batal. We want to make sure we do all of these things at the same time, so picking this up before we head out is going to be very important. Next, we need to go from Vernworth northwest all the way to the ancient battleground. You can take an ox cart to the checkpoint rest town and you can follow this path along here. If this is your first time here, there'll be a cyclops and a dragon duking it out down in the battlefield, but we can avoid that. We can just run up the left side of this cliff here and we're going to be heading into this castle right here. When you get in here, there's going to be a bunch of skeletons that spawn. You can fight these or avoid these if you want. This room, we are going to turn left and we're going to run up this staircase here. At the top, just climb up this ladder. And then you're going to turn right and you're going to run straight across. As you go across, you're going to see another little hole and we are going to climb down this ladder. There's going to be more skeletons in this area. You can also open up this gate right here so you can quickly get back here if you need to. What we're going to do is we're going to run into this area. We're going to turn left. And then we are going to go up these stairs and then we're going to turn right into this room. There may be more skeletons that spawn in this room. But inside of this chest right here is going to be a makeshift vault key. This is what we need to be able to get the secret shield that we can use against Medusa. So we're going to head back to Vernworth, and then we're going to go into the Noble Quarter, and we're going to head up to the castle area. We go through the main gate here. We're going to turn left, and then we're going to turn right down this hallway, and then we're going to head down these stairs. There's going to be a couple of people down here, but if we go around this corner, there's actually like this secret vault down here. Now there's a guard kind of in the way right now. I think if we wait here, eventually she will stop guarding this door. If we go down to it, she's going to turn us away. I tried to grab her and like kidnap her and that didn't work. It kind of like just teleports you away from that door. We're going to try it. But if you head to the kitchen area within the castle, you can grab one of these barrels and you can take it down the hallway to where she is. You can then throw this barrel at her face, which is going to stun her momentarily and allow her to run away just a little bit. In this moment, you need to grab her and take her away from this location as far as you can and either throw her into a wall or into a room and then charge back down the hallway, open up the secret vault and loot everything inside. All right, we got the Ring of Reassurance in there, and then we are going to open up this bad boy, and we got the Decayed Medusa Head, which is interesting. This is kind of a hint, because inside of this bad boy right here is going to be what we're looking for. This is the Daughter of the Evening Shield, which, if you look at it, reflects the faces and baleful powers of foes back upon them. It's a freaking cool-looking shield, too, though. Now, we also want to make sure that we open up this chest right here. I believe this is going to have the 20,000 gold in it, and the Wyrm Hunter's Coat. This is what I really wanted, because we get fire resistance, lightning resistance, and debilitation resistance as well. Oh, this is the 20,000 gold right here. For one of these things that we're going to be doing with Medusa, we do want to make sure that we bring a savagery extract with this, especially if you're at a lower level. This is going to help to get a special version of the head that you can only get if you kill her fast enough. Now, before we continue to killing Medusa for the first time, we want to go to the sculptor's area and we're going to at least initiate this quest line because we don't want our Medusa head to spoil and it's going to be very important to actually finish this quest line the right way because there is a bad ending to this if we don't do it the right way. We basically just want to finish this conversation enough. All right, so that's perfect. So now that we've started that quest line, we can go ahead and collect the first Medusa's head. Now, if you don't know where Medusa is, you can head south out of Back Batal, and you're going to follow this road all the way down until it splits, and you're going to go down this path, and you're going to cross the bridge right here. So essentially what you need to do to get to Medusa is just follow all of the petrified corpses and creatures and things like that, and eventually you'll see this little hole with two trees kind of crossed across it. 
That's Medusa's lair. Now there are a couple of different ways to deal with Medusa. Before we go into this cave, I'm actually gonna leave my pawns outside. I'm at a level at which I can take down Medusa just by myself. And there have been instances where it seems like the pawns won't get out of her gaze in time. So if you do care about your pawns and you don't want them to be petrified, you can just leave them outside, but it's just something to pay attention to. And I figured it would be a good warning. Otherwise, we're gonna head inside this cave and we'll be able to see Medusa wandering around. Now we really wanna get Medusa's head from this. You can get a withered version and there's a better version that you can get as well well, but essentially what you have to do to be able to chop off her head is focus mainly on hitting her head. If you are high enough level and able to do enough damage, you can chop off her head before fully depleting all of her health bars, and that's going to give you a better quality of her head. Otherwise, you really just need to avoid her gaze and focus on doing as much damage to her head as possible. So having melee pawns for this and or a melee vocation for your Arisen is definitely going to help in acquiring the withered head itself. Also using pawns that do lightning damage can help as well because that is one of her weaknesses. So just focus on doing as much damage to the head, try not to die. And as she's getting very, very close to death, if you are playing a melee pawn, I highly recommend climbing up her back, making your pawn stop attacking, and just going to town on that and making sure you get the finishing blow on her head, and every single time you'll be able to chop off her head no matter what. Now like I said, if you chop off her head as she dies, you're going to get a withered version. If you're able to chop off her head before the health bars deplete, you're going to get a better quality version that will last longer. But regardless, just make sure to pick up the head and loot the body. Now, the Medusan spell bow is going to drastically increase your XP gain. The unfortunate part about it is it weighs 15 kilograms, which is absolutely bananas. Uh, now, the main thing is what we want to do is we want to make sure that we take this head and complete the sculptor's quest before it expires. Essentially, our goal right now is to get from Medusa's lair to the area where the griffin is as quick as possible to be able to complete the sculptor's quest the right way. Oh my god, really? A freaking dragon? Good luck. Bye-bye. We're gonna run past the dragon. What luck? Come on, Fulvio. We gotta go, bud. We gotta go real fast. Uh, so once we get to this location, what we want to do is we can head to our implements, and then we can equip the Medusa head to our belt, and we actually wear it instead of a lantern, and we use it just like a lantern as well. Uh, I'm actually going to tell my compatriots here to wait. And we'll kind of go up here with Fulvio to the griffin. And then I'm going to brandish the head. And we're going to use it on this griffin to freeze it in place. So we get the 11,181 XP, 202 DCP. But now he gets to completely sketch the griffin the way he wants to. But you'll notice that with the withered head that we used, it disappeared. So you only get a very short use with a withered head than you do with a very good version of the head. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, also, when you use it on creatures, you don't get any of their loot. So that's also a problem. But griffin's nests do have good things in them. So make sure to, if you do go to the griffin, pick up all the stuff inside the griffin's nest for more money, Jasper, all that stuff. So all we need to do is just return to Fulvio in back Batal, and we'll be able to unlock the next part of the quest. Which is weird because we didn't have it in our quest log anymore either. But essentially, we're just heading back to the noble's quarter now. And we're going to head back to Clark's house, and I think we just have to go inside. There's going to be a bunch of people in this house this time, but we need to go to the second floor of Clark's estate. And in this back room, I believe, is where the showing is. So we got 18,500 gold for that, 4,500 XP. So we got quite a bit more gold, but we're going to rest for 14 to 15 days. And we're just going to sit at this bench. And what you can do when you sit at a bench is if you just spam the doze off button, you can repeatedly rest here without having to get up, which exponentially increases how quick you can kind of go through days. Then we should be able to find the Medusa again. What we're going to do this time is actually pretty interesting. We got the shield, the daughter of the evening. Now, if we use the shield to take down Medusa, we're actually not going to be able to get any of the items from Medusa doing this, not the head or anything, but we will get an achievement. So I don't recommend using this on Medusa the first time. I recommend using it the second time like we are. But the nice thing about it is we will get a decent amount of XP from it. So that's a nice bonus. Now, if you do have the Warfarer class, you can equip the shield on its own. So you can be able to have the shield equipped as well as any other weapons that you have. Otherwise, you'll need to do this on like a warrior. 
I'm going to make my pawns wait outside. Then we're going to turn the lantern on. There's actually another way to be able to do this as well. You don't necessarily need to use the shield to get this achievement. And if you stand in the gaze... You can actually reflect the gaze back to her with the shield, allowing you to be able to petrify her and you get an, ach and you get an achievement for it. So yeah, we got 15,000 XP, 240 DCP, and an achievement for killing her with her own gaze. Now you can farm up these Medusa's heads. It does take 14 in-game days for her to respawn each time, and if you only get the withered head, it's not going to last very long. You'll either get one good use out of it, and it can expire pretty quick in your inventory. But if you want to save them for emergency circumstances, you can just put them in storage and the DK timers will be on hold, so that way it will not spoil. So you could technically stock up on a few of these if you so desired. Now that is everything you need to know about Medusa. The hardest part about it is if you really want to get the perfect version of the head, but that just means you just need to do a lot of damage to the head really quickly before she dies. Otherwise, I really do hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. One.